it's Margaret, and I have invited over Izzy and Bella from Cauldron of Collectibles to have a hangout chat. Say hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so Bella is off because um, she's she's been getting over some sick, right? She's been sick, right? That's true. And so she's going to be off, but she'll still. She can still answer. I mean, you can still ask her questions, just, you know. She'll just yell it from across the room. Sounds good. It sounds good. And so, okay. So let's start with the, why don't you tell us, tell us who you are. Well, I am, I guess I would be Izzy. That's Bella, Ina and Jennifer. Uh, and we live in, uh, currently live in Pasadena, Texas. Uh, and we have been reselling for uh, going on two years. Am I right? Going on two years? Yeah. And we resell pretty much everything, mostly on eBay. <clears throat> ah, awesome. <laughs> we have eight cats. I mean, I don't know where to, you can ask me some more stuff, but that's just the general thing, of general basis. Of it. Awesome, awesome. And we, we, oh, I'll skip to the next question because that's part of rolls into what I was going to say. So, how did we meet? How did we meet? Yeah, how did we You're meet? Not us? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we met this wonderful, wonderful woman, Margaret, aka Texas Gal Treasures. <laughs> we met her actually through um, a Facebook group that she that she runs, the um, Gulf Coast Resellers, and uh, YouTube as well. Uh, so we met through there. We got invited to Gulf Coast Resellers, and we met her and everybody else that's in the uh, in the area. I guess in the Houston area, metropolitan area. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. It was a fun hangout. Yeah, we hung out with you. When was that? February. Was yeah. that end of February? Yeah, that was really fun. We had a good hangout over there at the uh, Coles Antique Village, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, okay, we ready? Ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. So I found you guys on YouTube, and then I was like, wait a second, you are going these places. And I'm like, that looks really familiar. So I really enjoyed watching. I don't know, because I just like the kind of stuff y'all picked up. It's just kind of like a little bit of everything, and, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of like that. I like just kind of a little bit of everything. Just see what we can see. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. And before we go on, I'm looking at your shelf in the back. Are those minifigs? Yeah. Lego minifigures? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, too many, actually. The, these oh, no. are all Legos. These, these two bottom ones are Legos over here. Let me see. Um, I don't know. Uh, this little funny guy here. What's his name? The little skull. The pumpkin guy, right? Yeah. yeah the pumpkin yeah. guy and the. We got two of these. Uh, it looks like um these little monster guys. I can't. What's that guy called? Can you see him? Okay. Oh, he's like a, a werewolf. With yeah, he's a werewolf. Okay. Because in the and series, there's a wolf. Man man. This is a clown. This is this the one clown? This is the clown, the pie clown guy, whatever his name is. Oh, I don't have he's him. <laughs> And then uh, we've got some kind of demonic evil one in the corner. Um, he's like, I guess he's like a, oh, let me see if, I can, if you can see. It's like a gray demonic one. Can oh, yeah. Is he like the little, like, gargoyle? Yeah, he's a gargoyle. And he's got, like, the little. And then I think the rest, there's a pig man up here with the pig outfit. Yeah. And then the rest of these, I think, are from the uh, Lego movie, the original Lego movie. Sweet. Yeah, and then these are all just, I don't know, everything, all the little collectible things, Wonder Woman, awesome. uh, John Cena, the Count uh, Tyrion from Game of Thrones. Cool. <laughs> Mario, yeah. Super Mario stuff, and I even have a Mew card at the top, but you can't really see it. Is the is, is that an Ood? Do you have an Ood? The what? <laughs> on, the, on the third row up, farthest to the right, it looks like an alien guy. Is that, a, is that an Ood from Doctor Who, or is that something else? No, that's from um, Star Wars, that little cantina guy, the one that oh. plays the instruments. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, I'm geeking out. You know, I, I have to show you. I'll take a picture sometime on my, the shelf in my library where we have like... You have a display? Oh, nice. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. I collect minifigs like a mad woman. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, anything that's, uh, you know, figures, like those little Funko Pop, like the little mini mystery ones are pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And... Um, you know, any, any, yeah, I'm like you. I'm the same thing. Same way. Yeah. Yes. Love to collect. <laughs> Toys, right? Toys. Toys are great. 
Right? When you were a kid, you were like, when I'm growing up, I can buy all the toys I want. That's right. Right? That's, and that's what I do. That's the... <laughs> and you too, apparently. <laughs> we're the same way. Yes. Yes. Same yes. Way. Okay. I'm going to say hey to people in the chat real quick because okay. we got people in the chat. So, say, there is hello to Tanya. Thrifty Treasures was first. Hey, Tanya. <laughs> and Honeybee Treasures. And Georgina is there. And Georgina... Let's see, Darlene, a purple lily says hello, and and Kimberly, marshmallow, awesome. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. <clears throat> and Thank Georgina says coming. she likes our, the lipstick. Thank you. <laughs> okay, ready? Are we ready for the next question? Yes. Yes. Okay. What do you guys and and tell tell Jen ben, Bella to jump in and answer some too if she wants. Okay. What do, you, what do you guys love selling? You want to answer? T-shirts. T-shirts. That's what she said. <clears throat> that seems to be our, right now. That seems to be our niche, is the T-shirts. Yeah. And, I mean, we sell everything, but that seems to be our thing. We were into mugs, you know, and mugs are kind of harder to sell. You know how that goes. It just mm -hmm. depends. And then uh, we ceramic stuff, you know. Toys sell. We've been doing a lot of course toys, you know. Course toys sell. And um, what else? T shirts, toys. Just everything. I mean, just things that we find, you know, it's too too many to name. It's just a broad field. Yeah. I, I, I really like watching y'all's um the haul videos because like I you know, when y'all go to the garage sales and thrift stores, y'all find all sorts of cool stuff. Toys and Thank shirts and stuff. Thank you very much. Thank it's you lots very of fun. much. We like your videos too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> okay, okay, here's the next question. What's the strangest or funniest reseller story that, that you've got, either that's happened to you or that one that you've heard about? Um, the only one that comes to mind was the strange one was the, I think we might have said one on our videos, but basically to sum it up, we found this Trapper Keeper, I think you might have seen that video, for like 75 cents, and it had like a Top Gun theme, Sweet. and we put it up for, you know, an outrageous price because they were, a couple of them were going up like Lisa Frank, you know how those go for a lot of money. We put it up and I think um, this guy was emailing us trying to, I don't know, he, he offered like $10 and then he was like, well, nobody's going to buy that. That's out of date. It's old. He kept sending us all these weird what? messages and we're like, well, this is our price. And then he was like, well, I'm not going to buy. Basically, he and was like, us hoarders. And, he's like, and then he called us hoarders. <laughs> He said we're hoarders because we wouldn't sell them at, sell them, sell it to him for uh, ten dollars, and um, I was just like, okay, well, you know, this is what it is. You know, you can make a best offer, and then he then he comes back like three days later, and he's like, okay, twenty two. That's it. I'm not offering you anymore. It's not worth more than twenty two. And this went on and on until I'm gonna say maybe like four days after the fact, some guy came and bought it for like what do we sell for like sixty or seventy dollars? Just came and bought it. You know, no questions. I'm gonna yeah. buy it. Yeah, we had to block him, that yeah. other guy. That's he was bananas. Just, yeah, he was, you know how, He's like, it's a piece of junk. It's not worth more than $10. Then he offers 22 Yeah, he's like going up and up saying, oh, it's not worth as much. He's like, oh, well, wait, 22 is my final offer. You know, it's kind of like, dude, you know. I think because he knew. He knew it was awesome. I think so. I think so. You know how it is sometimes. Everyone's trying to snipe, you know. We, we respect sniping. We do it. I'm sure we have everybody else. But <laughs> harassment, I don't know. Um, that took it took it too far. A little bit too far, but you know that was probably the weirdest. Strangest. Do you know someone named Priscilla Rankin? That's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking into my crystal ball. Hi, mom. <laughs> I see you, Priscilla Rankin. You're so psychic. I know. <laughs> I didn't even know that you could see into the ball like that. You're so psychic. <laughs> Actually, I'm looking into the chat, and she's saying, hello, my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, uh, it's not me, is it? <laughs> hey, Mom. <laughs> I, I'm not, you know, I don't have the chat up. I just have the, the thing, the hangout. So I don't, I'm not seeing what's on there. But yeah, I'll thanks. let you know. Thanks, Mom. Unless you want to, unless you want to pull it up. And <laughs> no. Everybody's saying hi to your mom now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's, up in, she's in California. She lives in California, so. So have you guys always been in Texas? Yes. Yeah. It, well, 
she actually um, Jennifer's from Illinois, and um, I, I am from Houston, but you know I lived in Arizona for three years and moved back here. But yeah, right. Unfortunately, yeah. we're all from Texas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Tanya actually has a question in the chat for you. Okay. She wants to know, one, do you like Goodwill? And she does she need to be worried since you're moving over to our area? <laughs> you're safe. We don't we don't we don't dislike Goodwill. We just <laughs> she's like, yes, we do. She's <laughs> trying to be despise nice. it. I'm trying to be nice. We don't we don't dislike it. We don't like to shop there. It's I don't know. We were boycotting them for about six months for something. Uh, to yeah. tell her not to worry, we're not really Goodwill shoppers, so she is okay. She's, <laughs> she's safe. Yeah, she's safe. <laughs> good, good, good. She'll be happy to hear that. <laughs> she's safe. And then, okay, someone asked what your YouTube channel is called. Um, Cauldron of Collectibles. Uh, just like you see on the little logo that you put up for us. Cauldron yeah. of Collectibles. And I'll link it down in the bottom after the Thank show you. so everyone, if they want to come check you out. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. If it wasn't. I'm trying to oh. I'm trying to figure out what they're talking about in the chat. Okay, I have to leave that one. Okay, here's another question. Savannah Knowlton wants to know. Um, question. I started at a thrift store today per work order, and why is it wrong to tell people that you do eBay? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's a question for you or just a random. I don't know. No. I don't usually tell people, but I don't lie if they ask. Yeah, I. <clears throat> I'm more of uh, we're more private people. We we just we don't really you know we go and we do our thing and we just you know what's that? Oh, I don't want Annabelle to show oh, the computer. <laughs> um, sorry, my cat's trying to come and close it. One of my cats <laughs> trying to close the computer. Um, I we. I guess if someone asked us, we would say, but it's just, you know, we don't, we're not like some people are just out there like talking all loudly about, oh, this is $5. We're going to put it up for 50. It's like, we get oh, our yeah. thing, we do our research, we go about our business and we do our thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some people have problems with that and some people don't. I mean, whatever works for, you know, for each individual person. Yeah, this is true. This is true. There's two people. I need to say hi real quick. Hey, Nellie, hi, Barbara in the chat. Hello. <laughs> okay. Ready for your next one? Yes. Okay. What do you love to pick up, but it just never brings any money? Oh boy. Um, what are we talking about? <laughs> Jennifer and her melamine plates. Well, we did sell it at Clown. <laughs> we sold one. I'm not going to lie. She got one. We bought for one 20 for cents. 20 cents and we sold it for $20. It was, you know. That's awesome though. But, yeah, I would be picked on melamine plates too. We just don't have the luck with them. Well, we haven't found any really. And, yeah, not really cool. that. And I would say um, anything for some reason. Jennifer's got this obsession with the with bunnies, like Easter bunny mugs no, and all that stuff. I don't. Hey, we sold that Easter bunny. <laughs> we product. did sell it, but we sold the Easter bunny too. I just too. like, yeah, no, I just, yeah, I think it's the melamine more than anything that seems to be. And we we don't we don't have the luck with the hats like Tanya over at Trifty no. Treasures. They sure don't. We buy them we're like this is so cool. And it sits there, and it sits there, and I'm like, maybe I just need to go buy that plastic head that Tanya told me to buy and just put it on there. Maybe it'll sell. I don't know. Because it's, they just don't sell for us as, as good as the other things. I did I did finally go buy a, one of those foam heads from right. Michael Michaels, like a foam one. Right, right. <laughs> maybe, maybe they want to see it on someone's head, and I don't want to put it on my head. So, I mean. Exactly. Maybe, yeah. yeah. No, I actually had before I got the head. I had somebody message me and say, "Can you put it on your head and take a picture?" I'm like, no, <laughs> no, I cannot. I don't um, think so. <laughs> you guys pick up a lot of tins too, because I see them, and then I, when I'm out, I look at tins, and I just don't have the eye for them though. But you guys pick up a lot of tins. Yeah, Jennifer actually, she's the tin person. <laughs> we will go, and she'll she'll be like, "Okay, honey, let's check." I'm like. What are you buying? There's like all these Christmas tins. And you know, some of them do sell. If they sell. have designer names on like, it, uh, check if they have artists. If they have artists. I'm just telling you what she's saying. Artists. You know, those, those ones sell. Like she, artists, vintage artists, ones. Vintage ones. But maybe like if there's a signature on it, there's Signatures. a chance, you know, if there's yeah. an artist signature. And obviously not something from like Walmart or something. Yeah, not something know. from like Walmart. You know, <laughs> nothing bad against Wally Mart, but you know what I'm saying. Just something yeah. that's easy. That you can easily go and buy yourself. It's got to be something that you maybe can't, or it's harder to find. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's see. 
What is the most unexpected thing about you that people don't know? Uh, well, let's see. Now you're talking about people that know me or people that just met me? I guess, I guess people that know you. Okay, people that know me. Ah, oh, wow. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, people that know us, I should say. Um, I guess if they know us, but we don't really talk about what we do reselling, that might surprise some people, you know, yeah. just because they don't expect them. Like, what? What are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, we work pretty much, you know, part time in the evening when I get home and on the weekends, we're working all weekend on that. But as far as people that probably don't know us, uh, probably don't know that Jennifer's an artist. I think you do, but because <clears throat> you've met us. But so she does. Um, she paints, you know, and she's a very good artist. And hopefully she's going to open up her Etsy store one day. That'll be good. And uh, I think the only other thing that people might not know about me is if they don't know me well, probably that. I love the Patriots, <laughs> and, and I like to play World of Warcraft sometimes with my mother, by the way. <laughs> she plays from, with you from California? Yes, she plays World of Warcraft. I need one, hang on one second. <laughs> hey, James, I'm, I'm on, this is a live thing. No, you may not. You, I'll, I'm blowing you kisses. <laughs> Good night. Okay. Oh, my gosh, she's taking my hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> my son came he wanted the cat and today tanya gave me like a plush hot dog and he just took it it's a oh, hot dog. that's just wrong no. <laughs> tanya is telling everyone in the chat that i like hot dogs <laughs> okay hi sadie i'm gonna say hi to people in the chat real quick hey melissa hey oh that's wrong again hey priscilla rankin let's see <laughs> let's see let's see and sherilyn hello okay okay <laughs> so what platforms do you sell on? Um, for now, eBay seems to be the best one for now. We've heard about the other ones. Uh, Merc Mercury, is that one of them? Uh, Mercury, we haven't really delved into Etsy or Amazon yet. We'd like to, but I think we're going to wait till we move. Which one? Oh, Bonanza. He had like one sell on Bonanza. So uh, mostly eBay. eBay seems to be the, the, you know, the best for us. For us. Yeah. 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 So I was going to ask her which one's your favorite, but I'll just take, hmm, I'll say eBay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, so <clears throat> let's see what was, do I want to, okay. I'll keep, I'm just going to go straight down the line. We're doing great. That's fine. That's fine. Um, what, what are some resources that you guys use all the time? Um, <clears throat> like, uh, when we go out to go like source, you mean, or, Anything. Resources? Like you mean food? <laughs> no. I guess I guess sourcing. I guess reselling. I just resources. want to make sure what you're asking. Yeah, I'm I need sorry to I had a long day at work today. <laughs> sorry, I'm so, I, I, probably any everything. Um well we shop at a lot of the thrift stores as far as that goes. Uh we have been doing a little bit more garage sales since the weather's been nice. I like church rummage Church rummage sales just seem to be really good. They're just mm -hmm. great. But we do use a couple of apps besides eBay. I think there's one called Evaluator that we use, which is, we just started using it probably last month. It's not too bad. It's an app on the phone, but really, I mean, that's pretty much it. The rest of it, we just kind of go off of whatever we're feeling, you know, the, the vibe we get on something. Right. Sounds silly, but it's just like a vibe. Yeah, no, you know, that kind of thing. No, I get it. I totally get it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Um, who or what led to your success? Um, well, definitely um, our motivation and our, our family and friends that supported us that didn't think we were silly when we started doing it. Work every day. <clears throat> Work every day. Um, and actually, what actually got me going into this, which brought Jennifer into this, was actually World of Warcraft. I have to thank World of Warcraft. <laughs> really? Yeah, seriously, because, um, uh, well, for people that don't know that game, it's a multi, um, multiplayer online, you know, game that's around the world, and uh, there's actually auction houses in World of Warcraft, so you buy stuff, and then you put it up for auction like you do on eBay. Hold on, there's some cats killing each other. Over there. <laughs> it's a big a cat friendly, fight. A friendly scuttle. A friendly scuttle. Okay. Um, so anyway, I used to sell stuff. I still do. That's actually what I play. Well, 
when I play World of Warcraft, I do the same thing I do in real life. That's pretty boring. I just go and sell <laughs> stuff and make gold, fake gold, you know, just play gold. But that's where I start. It's like, well, you know, I know how to flip this, you know, these things that I know things about. So it kind of just kind of went, oh, yeah, yeah, I could do this, you know. And next thing I know, Jennifer and I were sitting there, and there you go. I mean, it just kind of went from there, and it's like, wow. So that's kind of what got us. <laughs> it kind of was the catalyst, but we already had the intention of going that route. It just kind of helped us. Sweet. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, some questions from the chat. Um, I guess Georgina is not a Pats fan. That's okay. <laughs> and Sherilyn, she says she plays I World of Warcraft with her daughter and husband too. Oh, cool. And Savannah wants Go to know. <laughs> Do you what? Go Horde. That's oh. a faction in the World of Warcraft. Oh. Sorry, I found that that sentence sound bad. <laughs> H O R D E. H O R D E. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And so Savannah wants to know do you have a storefront or a booth outside of eBay? And what do you like buying for it? Um, not yet. We haven't uh, gone that route. I know you guys have, you and uh, Tanya have your little, do you still have your booths out there that you guys talk about? She does. I'm okay, actually does. pulling out of mine. This is my okay. last month. Okay. Um, I don't know. It it would have to be. I don't know. I, I guess I think we're we're okay where we're at selling online, but nothing yet. Nothing that route yet. You know, we're still trying to establish ourselves and try to make be more comfortable with things. Right. Maybe down the road, you know, that's a big commitment. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Juanita wants to know what do you do for health insurance coverage? Well, I work full time, so I, I'm pretty much covered. And Jennifer has her coverage, you know, so we're good to go. I mean, I guess if we had to employ ourselves, we just have to go and get, you know, regular health insurance to these companies that charge an arm and a leg yeah. <laughs> all this money. So, uh, yeah. you know, it, I'm okay for that for now. We haven't really thought about that for now. Thank God we're, uh, Jennifer's pretty good. Uh, she uh, knows a lot about herb herbal remedies and whatnot, so we rarely go to the doctor anyway. She's really good about that. She used to work at a, a vitamin store, so she knows everything about all the vitamins and remedies and everything. So, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, she definitely keeps us healthy. Awesome. Yeah, I have my husband works oh, like a job, job. Yeah, <laughs> like a job. So I get insurance <laughs> from him. So, yeah. yeah. And then, hey, Gerson, and hey, Chad, Golden Finger Pickers in the chat. Hello. And the Valley Picker, hey, Greg. And Darlene, I know how I always like to say hi to people in the chat. Hello. And Darlene wants to know how long have you been selling on eBay? Uh, well, <clears throat> I I have sold on eBay in the past, you know, a few things here and there. And then um, but consistently with Jennifer for two years. But I think I've been in members since 2011. You know, just didn't have that much up. You know, I sold a few things here and there. Yeah, yeah. I think big. I think big. Okay, here's the next question. When was the time when you felt like you had made a difference? Um, <clears throat> I think we, well, I work during the day, so I feel like I make a difference uh, working where I work up at a college, so I work, help the students and the staff and, you know, teachers and whatnot. So I think we make a difference there. <clears throat> I think, I like to think we make a difference every day in, in the lives of our family and friends and of course, our cats, who are very thankful. <laughs> they don't have to work, and they could just hang out at home all day. But um, <laughs> <laughs> you need to look at it. We pay their health insurance. I guess we, you know, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think it's just if you be your, if you be yourself, and you just promote yourself as you know who you really are, you know, with positivity and not you know break, stay away from all the negative and toxic people. Yeah, It'll always make a difference in somebody's life whether you know it or not, you know? Right. I get that. I totally get that. Okay. Melissa Cocker wants to know, how many listings do you guys have on eBay? Well, uh, right now, we probably have about <laughs> maybe 50 right now. Well, because we're moving, we have a lot of stuff. It's all chaotic. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. But we try to keep, you know, we try to keep between 100 and 150. We don't really have, like, a lot listed but we try to put the quality things up that we know you know have good a, a good chance of selling so 
I think anywhere between 100 and 150 per month. And, you know, but we do, re we do relist every day something or we put new things up. That's one thing that we were, that we've learned. Keep the right. activity going so you can move up to the top via Cassini, you know, keep it going. Cause then that brings more interest and, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need to be better. <laughs> <laughs> It, you, it's been crazy. You guys know. <laughs> I, understand. I understand. I totally agree. Okay, let's see. There's a few more in the chat before we move on. Gabrielle says, hello. hello. She feels the same way about her cats. Okay, I'm going to hopefully not say your name wrong. Hypatia Love. She says, you guys do make a difference to me. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and let's see. Tanya has another question. Oh, Tanya. She says... <laughs> She's taking it easy. Have you guys thought about selling on Amazon or do you do just eBay? Eventually, yes. We'd like to go. Uh, we like to do the FBA thing because, you know, we do we do have a really good source for books right now. We just don't have the room and we still have we, we want to get organized when we move. We'll have some organization that's better than where we are now. So, yeah, eventually we'd like to go to Amazon. And, 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 and Etsy, yeah, definitely. Don't worry there, Tanya. They're just going to do books on Amazon. They're not moving in on your turf at all. It's okay, girl. Don't worry, homie. We're not messing with your turf. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, next. <laughs> next question. This is not reseller related. Okay. Have you guys had any near-death experiences? Well, uh, I think the, <laughs> Jennifer has. I think the closest near death experience I had was having. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> no, not going to sleep at night, Jennifer. <laughs> Actually, um, I'll tell you, Jennifer's, because hers is more serious. Mine's a little bit funny, but hers is. Um, she, she was. Uh, she, what did you say? Say again. Oh, I, just, um, I almost died, and I like floated above myself. Like kind of up by the ceiling, and I could see myself, and then I just kind of floated back down and popped back in. <laughs> wow! Did you hear that? Oh popped yeah, back. yeah. That was hers. Me, I just had a really horrible. No offense to anybody that likes to eat at Walmart, but I will never eat at Walmart <laughs> ever again. <laughs> that was eating at Walmart. <laughs> Do they have a cafe? <laughs> I had. I ate one of those burritos from the deli. Oh. And I came home. <laughs> She's she's actually laughing. She's not crying. Um, and I came home and I was, I swear, Margaret, I thought I was going to die. I mean, I was just like, everything was kind of spinning. I, you, you've had food poisoning, right? Have oh, you ever yeah. had it? You yeah. know how that feels, right? It literally feels like you're dying. And all I could think about was that person that served it to me that said it with a smile, have a wonderful day. And that's oh. all I thought about. Oh, no. that burrito. And then when I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I said, she kind of reminded me of uh, somebody that I knew in high school that didn't like me. <laughs> so oh, I was no. like, that her? <laughs> Maybe that was her. I don't know, but it, it was bad. It was really bad. The burrito was, oh, I'll never, 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 never eat there again. Ever. Wow. Bad, bad. bad. So. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look back real quick. Um, Sadie wants to know, <laughs> oh my God, I'm still getting over the Walmart. Okay. <laughs> it was bad, Margaret. Trust me. Don't eat the burritos there. I'm trying oh. to save your life. I'm trying to save your life. Here. Okay. <laughs> I won't do it. Oh no. Okay. 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 Sadie wants to know what where's the first place or area that you head when you go to the thrift store where do you go first um probably the t-shirts yeah, yeah i go to the sh well i actually we have the whole wonder twin powers activate <laughs> form yeah. of ceramics shape of t-shirts you know that kind of thing yeah so I, go, <laughs> I go to the t-shirts and she goes to the um you know, the other stuff, the ceramics, or miscellaneous, miscellaneous. And, then you. and then we kind of meet and we kind of do our little powwow in the middle of the store, away from the people that are looking at us, you know, just, yeah. just see what we're going to, you know, just kind of check it out, see what vibes we get. That's so nice to have somebody to go with, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely great. Yeah. Definitely great. 
Okay, Hypatia, I'm not sure I'm saying your name right, said, if you found a first edition book, would you buy it, though? First edition? Like, you mean any first edition or a no, rare one? Sure. Um, <clears throat> I think first edition books are probably, you know, depending on what they are. I mean, there's a lot of first edition books, you know, obviously. Right, yeah. It's a rare thing. I mean, you know, like a first edition Harry Potter. You know, maybe oh, yeah. the, you know what I'm saying. I mean, you know, um, I I think it would just depend on the book. You know, I think I, I wouldn't just buy any first edition. I would just look at, you know, I would look it up. And yeah, that would be one of the things that would probably um, that I would look at it when I was purchasing, you know. Yeah, for sure. First edition, you know, or signed, you know, it's autographed or whatever. Do you know Kimberly Marshmallow? Who is Kimberly Marshmallow? Yeah, that's a. Uh... That's Kim. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, she's like, she knows your name. <laughs> she's asking for Jennifer. <laughs> oh, okay. She that, says, yeah. Actually, hi, Kim. That's our buddy from Ohio. Uh, <laughs> sorry. When you said Kimberly, I was like, is it her? Because she said she was going to watch. And then Marshmallow, I'm like, who's Marshmallow? I don't know who that is. Okay. I'm going to yeah. just call her Marshmallow. Sorry. sorry. That, yeah, we know her. She's, she's our friend from Ohio. Yeah. I love that because it marshmallow rhymes with manganello. So, as you know, manganello. Oh. Anyway, she says, has Jennifer ever thought about writing a book on natural or herbal remedies that you could sell? Uh, have you? No, because I don't, I mean, I'm no authority on it. It's just. <clears throat> she's not an authority, she says. Um, I don't have any formal education in it. It's just something I've studied informally for years. She studied informally for years. I don't know if you caught the last part. Yeah. <clears throat> and Hypatia says, I wish she would, Kim. I'm guessing you know Hypatia, too. And then she says, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually um, Jennifer's best friend from, uh, where's she from? Wisconsin. Kanigi? Where's she from? Kenosha. Kenosha, Wisconsin. I'm sorry. Kenosha. <laughs> No, I was thinking Kanigi or something. <laughs> They're saying hi. They're saying hi. <laughs> Voodoo burrito. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Voodoo burrito. <laughs> okay. Um, the Shelly Melly. What? I, there's some new people I have not met. Welcome. I don't know that person. I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. You don't know, like, welcome to all the people I've never met before. I'm so happy you are here in the chat. <laughs> the Shelly Malley wants to know, what is the profit mar margin desired on each item, and does it vary amongst items? Well, I, I'd be lying if I didn't say any, any profit's a good profit. Any profit's is, is a good thing. But you got to think about the fees, you know, eBay fees and we tend to buy pretty well PayPal. Again, so, hi. Okay. I mean, for the most part, right? Because our t-shirts are usually a dollar or less. A right. lot of what we buy is under a dollar, honestly. Unless it's something we know is like a, like a, like the the jersey. I mean, something we know is going to sell. Right. Like we just got that uh, Michael Jordan jersey for $10. I'm sure we'll put out $10, but honestly, a lot of what we buy is a buck or under, you know? We, we try to stay up. We try to make, of course, the $10 or more profit, of course, you know. Right. Obviously, we can make more like we did with that Astro World book I, that you might have seen on our last one from a dollar to a hundred. I mean, yeah, hey, that's sweet. We'll take it, you know. But um, we try to do that. I mean, unless we're buying in bulk. I mean, if you were buying in bulk, I guess you could probably put it, you know, put it up a little lower, and you probably would make money in the long run. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Barbara wants to know if you could take three things with you to a deserted island, what would they be? <laughs> Good question. Okay. Three things to a deserted island. Well, it depends. Where is the island at? Oh, good, good question. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be out where a tsunami is. So you, maybe you want like a submarine or something. I mean, a <laughs> you know, pick a boat, a submarine, and an airplane. <laughs> you gotta think about it, right? You gotta think where are you gonna be. At? I mean, well, I was okay. Barring the submarine and the boat and the airplane, which are obvious choices, but um, if you're in a deserted island, I guess you're just stuck there, so you wouldn't have access to that. Um, <clears throat> and cell phones wouldn't really matter, neither would laptops. There's no Wi-Fi out there. So, I don't know. I'd, I'd probably say um, a house. A house. 
uh, plentiful food from the island that we could create our own food, I guess, you know, plentiful food. And, yeah. and uh, <laughs> faci cats, <laughs> facilities to strain the salt water so we could drink water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to survive. We're, I'm talking we're not talking about like books or like anything. No, I don't need any books. No, I don't need none of that. I just, I just, I don't know. Practical, you know, practical, practical it's stuff. Really it's a good yeah. question though. Like, where is this island? Because what if it's like in the Antarctic area? Uh, then we'd like a nice <laughs> igloo, you know, maybe some. Uh, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> it just depends on where it's at. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. a good question, actually. It is. <laughs> okay. Do you guys believe in ghosts or have any ghost stories? Oh, Margaret, we'd be here the rest of the night if we talked about that. <laughs> Do you have a favorite ghost story? Um, <clears throat> I personally have never seen spirits. I've heard things. I've felt things. Um, my mom's probably the one. She could probably go on and on. She uh, She's a realtor, so she used to go into all these houses, and she's had experiences. Um, I think the only the only thing, and I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say it's a, it's a ghost because I'm not sure if it was or wasn't. The only unexplained thing that I can tell you that happened to me directly um, was probably about uh, 10 years ago. I lived in this apartment <clears throat> and um, I lived there with my with my ex. And we actually, uh, in the middle of the night, we heard this huge, like, like a book being dropped. And it was like a two bedroom apartment, it wasn't that big. And we went out there and there was a built in bookshelf that had like it pretty deep, you know, pretty deep inside. And we had like, like ceramic things. And then we had like a, a photo album with my baby pictures in it. It was probably about that big, you know, just like a pretty good size. It was in the back of the bookshelf. So it was leaning back there. And it was actually out flat on the floor in front of the bookshelf. So we oh, were wow. like, how did that without breaking everything? Cause there was only this much space probably from the top of the items that are sitting there and the actual top of the shelf. And this book is back there. And so it yeah. looked like someone picked it up, brought it out like this and just dropped it. And there was nobody there, we checked it, nothing. So wow. I, I don't know, <clears throat> I'm not sure about you that. You never know, right? I like to hear about people's stories. Oh, we, we'll we talk later. We have lots of, <laughs> we can share a lot of stories. <laughs> I, I smell a girl's night. Oh yeah. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Melissa wants to know, does Jennifer use any essential oils? She says, I've been looking into them lately and I'm anxious to try them. Hold on, she's gonna come closer to the microphone so she can answer. <clears throat> yes, I do use essential oils, especially like a tea tree oil is a really good one because it's a natural antiseptic, antifungal, um, antibacterial antiviral and you can use it for a lot of different things so that's kind of a good all-purpose one but they're nice for aromatherapy too and look into them you know there's a lot of them some of them need to be diluted though you have to be careful of that they can be too strong right my sister does a lot with that too like tinctures and oils and things mm -hmm. it's nice natural is the way to go <laughs> yeah go go natural so they're talking in the uh, in the chat about how objects can be haunted and possessed and have residual activities and there's and then Tanya's like oh, wait wait I want to come to this girls' night we need to talk I want ghost stories. Oh, there's <laughs> yeah, no, there's things I won't buy. Like I'll pick things up and you know, see me do it. I'll pick things up. I'll carry them around a while. And even before I started reselling, I always was a fan of like resale stores and stuff. So, uh, but I'll carry things around for a while and sometimes I get a bad feeling from them. Like I just get a bad vibe <clears> and I put them back. Even if it's something kind of cool that I think maybe we could sell, you know, sometimes I'm just carrying around. I'm like, nah, this this has got bad mojo on it. And I just put yeah, because you know shelf. what, just doesn't feel right. To yeah, because you know? I mean, if you don't think about it, I mean, as a reseller, you're picking up things that people had, so that the, the stuff is possibly picking up bad energy, good energy, and you just don't know. Yeah, and sometimes something will bring something in, and it won't sell, and it won't sell. And it's like, man, that thing is possessed. It's, so it's possessed, man. Get, get it out of here. It's yeah. not selling, and it just yeah. gives me a bad feeling. And we push it on out. So yeah, yeah. 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 Got to do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> Ghostbusters. <explain>. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next. <clears throat> Ready? Okay. 
Okay, if you could sing one song on American Idol, what would it be? With you? Anybody. Uh, I mean, oh, with me? Curious. By myself or with you? Either way, either or both. How about both? With you, uh, I hate to say it, but with you, maybe the Rhinestone Cowboy song. <laughs> Because your entrance music reminds me. I don't know why. Oh, okay. <laughs> I heard that uh, maybe with her rhinestone cowboy. I don't know. No, actually, um, no, actually, I was kidding about the rhinestone cowboy with you. Probably <laughs> with Margaret because she's so cool. I would say All the Way Up by Fat Joe. Listen to it. I don't that. know this song. Listen to it. Look at look it up on YouTube. All the Way Up. <laughs> by Fat okay. Joe. And if you, if you want to, you can also get the edited version if the explicit's too much, you know. All okay. the way up by Fat Joe. Yeah. Fat <laughs> Joe. I'm gonna look that up later. Okay. You look that one up later. Yeah. But no, I think that would be it. I don't think I'd sing any. Oh, you know what? Maybe I, there's a song back in elementary school that I used to sing. Uh, you probably know it. You're from you're from Houston. It's yeah. Hot. Yeah, it's something like a, <clears throat> I'm a Texas. I'm a Texas. I'm a Texas gal. Way out west where the cowboys are, I can ride my Carope. I can show them how it's done. <laughs> Come on and shoot me with your six shooter gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's like to my do your ears hang low song. <laughs> It does, doesn't it? It's the same tune. Hey, I learned that one in third grade. I don't know. That one just... Sing a Houston Oilers song. Oh, no. I'm not singing the Houston Oilers song. You know the Houston Oilers song. The original the Houston Oilers song. Houston mm -hmm. Oilers. I had her pl I had playing that, and that's all. And she was just, like, haunted by that song forever. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. What was the last gift you guys gave someone? <clears throat> Mother's Day. Uh, we gave my mom a gift, um, Jennifer's mom, her aunt. I mean, everybody. I mean, Marshmello got a gift. I mean, Marshmello! My <laughs> patier got a gift. <laughs> what What? did you get your mom? Um, we got her a, um, well, we got her like a little teapot. And then we got her a Funko Pop World of Warcraft Sylvanas Night Elf Hunter that she has. <laughs> it's a Aww. little funko. It's pretty cool. And some cookies that Jennifer baked, homemade cookies. Nice. <clears throat> cool. <laughs> okay, are we ready for rapid fire? Yes. Are you sure? Hold on. Let me, let me warm my hands up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. Mario or Luigi? Oh. Mario. Mario. Yeah. Mm -hmm. MC Hammer or Vanilla Ice? Vanilla Ice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about Jennifer? What's hers? MC Hammer or Vanilla Ice? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Neither one. She's <laughs> not into 90s rap. <laughs> okay. Wizards or vampires? Vampires. Um, I guess, <clears throat> I guess wizards. <laughs> This is serious. You better think about it. Uh, I have to think about it. wizards. Okay, wizards only. Harry Potter, Twilight, Harry Potter. Right, right. Dumbledore, he's a man. Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Okay, city or country? Uh, probably country. Okay, somebody in the chat with somebody. Barbara says Star Wars or Star Trek. Star Wars. Star both, Wars. Both for me. Both for her. Star Wars for me. Yeah, Star Wars. Okay. <sighs> Limerick or knock knock? Ooh. Well, <laughs> because my mom's in the audience, I'm going to say knock knock, but I would have said Limerick otherwise. <laughs> okay, here we go. Knock knock. Who's there? Pencil. Pencil? Okay, pencil who? Pencil fall down if you don't wear a belt. <laughs> It is not that funny. But. <laughs> I've never heard that one. No. I've never heard that one. First time. I, I try. Okay, here we go. So it, it, you got to fill in the blank. Okay. Ready? I never get tired of... Reselling. Reselling. Or, in my case, um, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> right, he's Lucky Charms. 
good to know. <laughs> Mom Lab wants to know, question, Goodwill or Salvation Army? Salvation, Salvation Army. Army. Oh, okay. Okay, here's another, here's another fill in the blank. Every person needs... <sighs> Love from Jennifer, and every person needs to be positive. I get that, yeah. Okay, Ta okay Kimberly Marshmallow wants to know... Tom Cruise or Johnny Depp? Tom Cruise. Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Yeah, yeah, Johnny Depp. Uh, Georgina wants to know, have you had another burrito since the Walmart burrito? Not a Walmart one, but another burrito. I'm tainted. <laughs> That's it on burritos. I even thought about going to Chipotle until I, found, until I heard about the scare of Chipotle. I'm like, it's no place sacred. You know what I'm saying? Because I love, I've eaten Chipotle before in Arizona, so no, I, I'm kind of, yeah, no, 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 no more burrito. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> okay, let's see. We did that one. Where did my questions go? I lost them. Okay, okay. <clears throat> what, what is best done slowly? Count your money. <laughs> That's a good answer. One, two. Well, because three. trust me, if, if you don't count it, if you don't count it slow, you might get scammed. I've had it happen to me before. <laughs> what, what, about, about, what, what does Jennifer say? <clears throat> I was asking her slowly. What is best done slowly? What is best done slowly? Um, Thinking, <laughs> thinking slowly. Thinking slowly. <laughs> oh, y'all are too good. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. What's what's a favorite pizza topping? Cheese. <laughs> Cheese for me. That's all I like. I'm a pretty plain person. With vegetables. Vegetables. Okay. Uh, I did that one. Favorite doctor? Doctor? Mm -hmm. Like DR period doctor? Could be. Could be. Oh. Favorite doctor? Doctor who? Like, is that what you're saying? Dr. Martin. You know, Dr. Martin. Doctor, Doc Martins. Doc Martins. Okay. That's He's cool. I mean, <laughs> I will accept that answer. This is a test. <laughs> I don't know any other doctor. I don't like Doctor Who. <laughs> Curses. <laughs> she's her favorite doctor. Did well, you she mean Doctor Who? She's asking about Doctor Who. Well, I when I originally wrote that, I didn't mean Doctor Who, but when I asked Jason, he was like Doctor Dre, you know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> or Doctor Seuss, I think he said was his other one. <laughs> I'm like, I'll just keep that question. You That's just never right. know. That's actually good. <laughs> All right, Marshmello wants to know chicken or beef tacos. Um, I'm gonna say beef, chicken or beef tacos. Marshmello wants to know beef, yeah, beef. <clears throat> She's not gonna get upset that I keep calling her Marshmello. Is she? She's okay, Kim. You're all right, right? Okay, she's cool. She's okay, cool. it's just fun, it's fun to say that way. Okay, Barbara wants to know tomato or tomato. I don't like tomatoes or tomatoes. Tomato. Tomato. I don't like tomatoes or tomatoes, so neither for me. Jennifer, uh, tomato or tomato? Tomato for her. <laughs> She's thinking slowly. You're a She's minute. She's thinking slowly. <laughs> She said tomato, you know, the car tomato. stuff. Tomato, yeah. All right. Darlene O says boots or sandals. Say that again. Darlene wants to know boots or sandals. Barefoot. Barefoot. Yeah. Um, new balance for me, unless it's some air joints that are really cool. We're good. <laughs> I just put her foot up there. Here, here. <laughs> barefoot. I'm barefoot, too. <laughs> and if I have to leave the house... It's yeah, 
she's she's the same way she doesn't wear any shoes around the house i have to have something on my feet so yeah yeah i know I'm a so. there right now. <laughs> the mom lab asks selena or j-lo selena we're from texas we support selena bitty bitty bomb bomb <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> <laughs> Selena or Jane? Okay, Selena for her. Selena. Greg wants to know <clears throat> wieners or hot dogs? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Would you like a wiener or a hot dog? <laughs> I'm asking Jennifer. I'm asking Jennifer. <laughs> Please say hot dog. <laughs> I think Jennifer, oh, I'm going to say hot dog, but I'm not really, it has to be ballpark and it has to be a hundred percent beef. Okay. She wants the fake stuff. I want the real stuff. I like how serious it's got. You have to like get the, get the mic in close for that one. So, so you can hear what she said. She said organic and I'm just going to go with hundred percent beef. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Kim Kim wants to know fries or tater tots? Oh. <laughs> That's a dilemma. I like both of them. So I'm gonna have to say both. But Jennifer, are you a fries or tots person? No? No neither? What? You know what I would say to that, Margaret? Can I have your tots? Remember? <laughs> <laughs> she gets it. She gets it. What about waffle fries? Waffle fries, steak fries, tater tots, crown like tater tots, sweet potato, sweet potato fries. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the, the shoestring ones, though. The crunchy they ones. They literally taste like shoestrings. I don't yeah. like those. Like cardboard. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like those either. Okay. Red, Robin steak fries. Red Robins. They have I've, I haven't been there in a while. Bottomless fries, remember? Bottomless fries. No. <laughs> She's like, oh. <laughs> Road trip. <laughs> okay, okay. Tea or coffee? She likes both. I don't like either. Hmm. Milk. 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 Okay. Georgina wants to know what kind of t shirts do you look for? What kind of t shirts? Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> wow, there's you know what? There's so many. I mean, seriously. Wrestling, concert. WWE sells good for us, so we look for WWE. Of course, concert tour t shirts, you know, obviously. Um T shirts that are different. Nineties. Uh nineties vintage, like nineties R and B rap hip hop t shirts are really yeah. going for really good prices now. So seventies if we can find them. Sometimes seventies, you know, vintage kinds, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Joe's asking a question that I'm not sure I know what it means. So I'm not sure I should ask it. Joe? Yeah. Joe Panico. I'm going to ask it. He made a little devil next to it too. So I'm really not sure. Wait a minute. What's his name? Better than Joe Panico. I think this is how he says his last name. How do you spell it? P A N I C O. Oh, okay. No. I thought it was somebody else. Sorry. Sorry, Joe. I thought you were You the tell other. me. I'm going to say, you tell me if you know what he's talking about. Okay. Sport peppers or not? Say again. Sport peppers or not? <clears throat> sport oh, peppers. Oh, those are really hot peppers. Oh, I'm no. She do you like? Oh, yeah, I like sport she peppers. She likes spicy stuff. Me, bland, <laughs> bland, bland. Hot or not? That's what he's getting at. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Here we go. Uh, what mine? Okay. Would you rather? Let me make sure I didn't miss any up, over here. Would you rather have a foot long nose or a <clears throat> foot long tongue? Neither. I just want to be a freak. A I foot guess. long. Hmm, that's a tough question, Margaret. Um, I would say <clears throat> I would say a tongue because a nose, a foot long, I mean, I don't know, that's too much. <laughs> That's too much nose. That's too much nose, and that's too much uh, Kleenex and too many allergies. I don't know. <laughs> Where are you going to put that tongue is what I want to know. Well, no, I don't want to know. But, like, in your mouth. 
and you could stick it in your mouth like the cartoon characters do. Like yeah. roll it up. What can you do with your What can you do with your nose? Can you roll it up? I don't. You can't push it. You can tape it to the side, maybe. I don't know. Put it behind <laughs> your ear. <laughs> like that. I'm sorry. I don't like the way my ear smells. So no, that wouldn't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next. All right. On average, on average, how many times a week do you hurt yourself trying to dance in the shower? Dance in the shower? I don't dance. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't dance in the shower, but you know, I dance over here sometimes, but not in the shower. <laughs> That's just too. That I don't know. How about how about Jen? You dance in the shower? Occasionally, but I don't hurt myself. <laughs> I didn't know this. I didn't know she danced in the shower, but apparently she does. <laughs> I don't hurt myself. She doesn't hurt herself. <laughs> Things you learn every day, right? You learn something new. Yeah. Hear <laughs> that about her. Okay, where would you go in a time machine? Oh boy. Can it go forward or backwards? Anywhere. <clears throat> um. I think I probably, where, where would you go in a time machine? I better let you answer. Um, I would be like, I could like to see the 1800s. She wants to go to the 1800s. Um, I think I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll go to October 21st, 1955. I don't know. Why? <laughs> what happened? What happened? Uh oh, you're going black. Oh. I'm still here. I can hear you. Did you hear me? I can hear you. I just can't see you. Let me try this. Hold on. Okay. Does that I work? See, I see your image, your cauldron of collectible image. I don't know why I went black. There you go. Now I see you. <laughs> I was going to say something. Um, no, actually, uh, what is it? October 21st, 1955? Yeah. You know what that is. Is that? Am I saying that right? Am I saying the right date? Maybe I don't. Think about October the 21st, 1955. Think about a movie from the 80s that had to do with time travel. Oh, okay. Back yeah. to the future. Is that right? All right. Is that right? All right. Okay, I don't yeah, cool. I, I don't know. I picked that date out, but no, I don't really, I don't know if I go back or forward. Leave time alone, you know? I don't, I don't want to mess with anything. If I step on a bug or something, then there'll be this like giant, humongous, oversized roach in Pasadena or something now, you know, because I stepped on it back in like the 1900s or something. Wait, I there's a person's father or mother and then they come back for revenge and, you know, it's just consequences. You know what I'm saying? Wait Everything. a minute, there's not like a giant roach in Pasadena? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Priscilla Rankin would like to know Benjamin or Lincoln? Benjamin or Lincoln? What? Oh, Benjamin. Benjamin? She's asking about money. She's asking oh. about money. <laughs> Benjamin, right? Benjamin, Benjamin. Kimberly Sorry. would like to know bath soap or shower gel? <laughs> um, soap. Like she likes gel. Soap. Yeah. <clears throat> Barbara, they're coming up with some good ones. Barbara would like to know. Who would you have dinner with? Tonight? I guess anytime. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, one person? One person? Mm -hmm. What what who would you have dinner with? You. Me? I mean, <laughs> she have dinner with me. <laughs> I'll have That's dinner sweet. with myself. Me and you know, I guess we're just talking about people, but if you're talking about like a famous person or somebody, I don't know, Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Probably be a healthy dinner. Probably. Because he's a really big health nut, you know? Yeah. Tom Brady. Tanya says she would have dinner with Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The doors. Let's see. Yeah, there's some lag, Joe. I'm looking. Oh, my gosh. I'm not going to read that. Greg, the valley picker. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I think... I think that's all my questions. Do you guys have any questions for me? Um, yes, we have a question. Okay. 
Who does your hair? I did it. It's great. It's so pretty. It's pretty. Thanks. So Do you cut your own hair? <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Oh, oh, my gosh. The people that cut my hair did a horrible job. Oh, I was just going to say, it looked kind of cool, like you got a little style going on. That's because I stick it behind my ear all the time. Oh, okay. And then when I pull it out, it's got this weird, like, whoop thing that it does. <laughs> yeah, we, your hair is definitely, it, it's pretty. Jennifer. Oh, pretty thank hair. you. Thank you. No, um, we, we don't have any other questions. We, we appreciate you uh, having us on this evening. It was a lot of fun. We look forward to the next time we get to hang with you and uh, either online or, you know, meet, meet and greet. Yeah. The hookup was for some ghost stories the next time we get to hang. I think so. After you guys – oh, you went black again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, that's okay. But, yeah, once you guys – because I know you guys – are going to be moving the weekend that we have the next meetup, and so right. we'll have to get together after you guys get settled and do do like a we'll get Tanya and we'll have like a girls' night, ghost story night, ghost story. Yeah. Now now it's creepy with it's all black. You whispering like ghost story, night, right? <laughs> ghost story night. <laughs> yes, perfect. Ghost story night. <laughs> Tanya and Margaret and Izzy and Bella. Ooh, wouldn't that be weird to have like a, a a YouTube video of it in black, like with flashlights showing our faces, you know, shining up on our faces, and then telling ghost stories? Oh man, that'd be freaky. I think that's a brilliant idea, <laughs> right? I, Midnight ghost story time. That's scary. <laughs> I think we're onto something here. Don't yeah. say anything else. Somebody will steal our idea. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's your idea, but ours. Ours, okay. Because I shared it with you, it becomes our idea. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to have to. We'll talk about it. Yes. Okay. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. We had, I think, up to 50-something people at one point. Great. Wonderful. So that's awesome. And I really appreciate you guys coming in and uh, and chatting. Yes, thank you again, Margaret, for your uh, generosity of having us on your channel. We really appreciate that. And we look forward to uh, putting out another video, hopefully, in the next week. I think we have another haul video coming up and we look forward yeah. to your videos and thanks to everybody who joined us tonight. We really appreciate all the support and the fun. We had a lot of fun. So thank you. No, thanks for coming. And I'm going to put your, your channel down in the bottom in the link in the description. So if people want to come check out your channel, then uh, you, Great. they can come see your videos. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Yala bye. Yala YOLO. <laughs> oh, I hear the cats now. Oh, All right, can I everybody in the chat? YOLO. YOLO? Yeah, YOLO. Yali, yali. You only live once, YOLO. YOLO. <laughs> Is that your cat's name? No, that's what I'm telling you. <laughs> oh! Oh my gosh, I'm slow tonight. I'm like, YOLO, you only live once. It's like a peace sign. No, my, my, I have eight different cats' names, so I'll have to tell you about them later. <laughs> okay. Thank well, you. We'll have, we'll have another show introducing your cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We better go, better go. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And check out Izzy and Bella at Calden of Collectibles. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.